Hi, welcome along to Transfer Daily, and um, I'm sure everybody, after the optimism of yesterday, everybody was like, yes, Kadera, it looks like he's happening, fees have been agreed, would have been really disappointed when they heard his agent come out yesterday and say, actually, no fee has been agreed yet, and we haven't actually spoken to the clubs yet. Um, he said he hasn't spoken to Arsenal yet, they haven't spoken to Chelsea yet. This is even though... Um, Marca, which is a very respected um, paper over there in Spain, often called a mouthpiece of Real Madrid, were talking up the deal between Arsenal and um, Real Madrid. Listen, this deal is not dead. Do not be, you know, for, for all the fans out there who are like saying yesterday, oh, the deal's dead. The agent said, listen, he's an agent, and the agent's job is to get the best deal for his client. That's how they look on it. Sammy Kadira is my client, and I need to get Sammy Kadira the best possible deal. So the best possible deal for Sammy Kadira is not actually the transfer fee, but how much wages I'm going to be able to get. Now, there's been a sticking point where um, it's been said that Arsenal are not keen to pay more wages to Sammy Kadira than what Mesut Ozil and Alexis Sanchez are getting. They don't want to make him the highest earner. Um, and I've seen a lot of fans out there saying, just give him what he wants. Now, you've got to understand that if you make Sami Kadiri the highest paid player, then all the other players out there in the team, quite rightly so, they've got agents who look after their clients and they're going to be coming into the office in a short period of time and saying, listen, um, you're paying Sami Kadiri that. My player actually is more important to the team we want our money raised, we want our money raised, we want our money raised for our client. And it goes up and up and up. So you do have to take these things into consideration. So also willing to meet the, the fee by the looks of it, but the wages are the sticking point. And then, of course, now we're hearing that Chelsea are interested. There was a report today that Chelsea are willing to sell uh, John Obi Mikel so that they can um, bring in Sami Kadira. We know that Mourinho has been a long-time admirer of Kadira from when Kadira played for him at Real Madrid. Um, and there's some papers saying that, you know, he's, he's, he's going to be gazump, Chelsea going to come in there. We don't know this yet. Makes a great story for newspapers, but we don't know if that's actually going to happen. Um, I think that there is still a good chance of Arsenal being able to get Sammy Kadira, but there's a lot of negotiation going on. Whether Chelsea have come in or not, it's you know we don't know. We don't know. It's a lot of speculation at the moment. Chelsea, you know, when you look at their midfield, you kind of think to yourself, do they actually need Kadira? They've already got Matic in there. They've already got Cesc Fabregas. They seem to have a lot of players playing in those in in that position. So. Would they be, you know, even as, as much as uh, as Kadir is a great player, do Chelsea really need him? But then in the past, Chelsea have bought players just to stop other teams from getting them. But with financial fair play, it kind of makes things a little bit different. So I think, let's not be hasty, I still think that this is an ongoing um, deal, ongoing negotiations, and I still think Arsenal are in a hunt for Sami Kadira and... Uh, it's going to take time to steal. These are big, big deals. They don't just happen overnight and, you know, it's just done like that. There's a lot of negotiation to be done and I I would not discount this yet. I still think that there is some a lot in this and this deal could get done and I still think Arsenal are the favourites to sign Sami Kadira, especially with um, our German contingent. So let's not discount this deal it can still happen. One deal that I think is going to happen at last, I mean, gosh, I mean, I was down by the Emirates yesterday, I was walking around, I'm like, where's the Bucci, where's the Bucci? When is this deal going to happen? It just seemed to take forever. And I even heard some rumours yesterday where some where uh, some of the fans were saying to me that they reckoned it could be a sticking point in the deal. Maybe, maybe he hasn't passed his medical. Um, maybe there's problems with his medical, why it hasn't been announced yet, because it has seemed to have dragged on for ages. This a deal that everybody seems to have known that has been done, but we are hearing that the deal is going to get done today, and that's Matthew Debucci signing for Arsenal, right back from Newcastle, price they're saying is around about 10 to £11 million. Pounds. I think it's a good signing. He keeps Sanya out of the uh, French national team, 
so he must be a good player. Um, I think he's a bit different to Sanya in that he's more forward-thinking than Sanya. Sanya, as a defensive player, I think is better than Dabuchi. But going forward, I think Dabuchi's got more energy, he's a bit quicker, and he puts in some good crosses, and he can also beat that last man. So I think Dabuchi, and he's strong as well, so I think Dabuchi will be a good replacement for Bakary Sanya. Um, he's going to have to get his consistency levels up because um, one thing about Bakary Sanya, over the years he's been probably Arsenal's most consistent player, and he's been a, he was a great servant to Arsenal. So Dabuchi's got... Big shoes to fill, but the Bucci deal does look like that will be happening today and that will be another very good signing by Arsenal, I think, that you've got a player in their experience, World Cup, um, World Cup um, player who played in the World Cup, and I think he'll slot straight into the team. Lots of French players in that team for him to um, you know, get on with, and put, of course, Arsene Wenger is, himself is French. So Matthew Dabucci, I think, and, and and he'll be really infused and really be looking forward to playing like in the Champions League, etc. So I think it's going to be a very good signing. We've also been hearing that this this is kind of a strange one. I mean, this signing of, of Javier Manquillo. Now, he's a right back. He plays for Atletico Madrid at the moment. Young player. Doesn't really get into the Atletico Madrid first team much. Um, now, apparently Arsenal interested in him. They've they already gone in and made a, an offer to Atletico Madrid. Apparently, Atletico Madrid have turned that down. They really want to keep this kid. He's a, a, a great prospect. Um, all right, another right back. I mean, Arsenal, they, they've got, they're bringing in Dabucci. They've got Carl Jenkinson. Um, there's Bella in there. I mean, I, I don't know. It's kind of strange to work this one out, but I suppose, you know, if, 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 if great talent is out there, you can't turn it down. But um, apparently also interested in this um, kid, Manquillo, and um, could yet still be a, a player that we see coming into Arsenal. And what does that mean for Carl Jenkins? Does that definitely mean that he goes out on loan? It's a real, I don't know, it's a bit of a strange, that one. Strange one, that one. Um, and of course, as I said yesterday, the Ospina thing, that's still going on at the moment. But again, as I said, um, from what I've been told, that's like the number one goalkeeping target, and Arsenal are still hot on the heels of David Ospina, the Colombian keeper. Um, Thomas Vermaelen, remember I was saying, I asked yesterday, I asked the question, if we sell Thomas Vermaelen, which is a very real prospect that we may sell Thomas Vermaelen, um, he may go to Manchester United, he's only got a year left on his contract, so he could go, who would we replace him with? What are good replacements out there for Thomas Vermaelen, and as a matter of fact, we're probably going to need two centre-backs. Now, you know, two centre-halves, so who would be a good replacement? And I ask you guys to give me some suggestions. Um, you guys come up with some good suggestions, actually. Um, Mr. De Freitas, he said, um, let me see, he said Manolas, the Greek player. Um, he can play right back, and he can also play as a centre-half, um, and he goes, he think he'd be a very good um, signing. Um, sorry, no, yeah, that, yeah, that was uh, Mr. De Freitas who said that. There was also somebody who su um, suggested uh, Marcus Roger. I think that could have been Mr. De Freitas as well, um, who he also said can play right back and centre back. Uh, the Sporting Lisbon player also you saw him playing for um, Argentina. Uh, Ricky Cook suggested Ma uh, Matthias Matthias Ginter and Stephen Corker. I think Corker would be a good shout. Um, Chal Bishop. Um, suggested um, Nkulu, Benesha or Toprak. I haven't, don't know a lot about that. I know Nkulu's a decent player. don't know too much about the other two, Benesha and Toprak. Um, Helsenberg. Now, I like this one by Helsenberg, and, and this could be a good shout. And he said, what about Micah Richards? Now, what about Micah Richards? Uh, the only problem with Micah Richards is that he's, he's a bit injury prone, isn't he? And do we want another injury problem? <laughs> Arsenal. That's the problem. But I like Micah Richards, and his career stalled. I mean, to really, you know, when when he started playing, he was on fire, and should really be a player that should be in that England setup, you know. Um, but he's always been injured, and then playing at Man City, he doesn't get much first team football, and his career has really stalled. But powerhouse player, and as um. Helsenberg says there he can play um, as a right back. He can also play as a centre half. And yeah, that might be a very good shout. 
Michael Richards. Let's get into some of your comments from today. Um, Frost7bi7e says, what about Bender? And again, if Arsenal don't get um, Sami Kadira, maybe it might be Bender that they then return for. Listen, I'm sure Arsenal will be not just looking at Kadira alone. They're going to be looking at Bender. They're going to be looking at Schneidlin. Um, because if, if Kadira doesn't come off, they know they need a, a holding midfielder. They know that position's important. So, you know, Bender is definitely in the fray. Um, Alwyn Tigger says, looking at Chelsea's 11, do we need another striker like Remy or Balotelli? Now, listen, we do need another striker. We definitely need another striker. was reading where AC Milan said they're no longer going to be selling Balotelli, so that's off. So which strikers out there would Arsenal go and get? Remy is a great shout. He's available. We all know. We talk about it every day. He's got the experience of playing in the Premier League. Um, French international. It's a no-brainer to me. Um, Arsenal 7117 says the Bucci should be today or tomorrow. Because Pardew just signed Yalmat. That's true. That's what we've been hearing. But it seems to be taking a long time. Um... Dan Phil says, apparently we want this Jan Manquilo bloke. <laughs> yes, what we just spoke about. Um, Dip Patel saying, Mourinho, uh, Dip Patel saying, the Daily Mail saying that Mourinho is making a bid for Kadira to outbid Arsenal. How do they know that? A lot of speculation could be true, could be made up. We really don't know. We've seen it a lot with a lot of these newspapers. Chuck Norris says, we just released Bentner. Why do we want him back? No, not Bentner. Bender, Lars Bender, Chuck, is the player that we really want to get. Not Bender. We definitely don't want him back. Um, Chuck Norris always asks him what's happened to Aspina. Um, listen, we, we're going to have to, again, I think those deals have been negotiated at the moment. Mr. Blinkify says Jackson Martinez. That's the player that he would like to see coming in a striker position. Um, David Dolce Rex says, what about the Quadrado or Negredo rumours? I haven't heard no rumours really of Negredo. Um, I, I, I've heard rumours that maybe City may be willing to sell him, but I haven't heard rumours that Arsenal really want him. As for Quadrado, um, there was reported interest from Arsenal in Quadrado, but I don't know, where would they play him? Do they need Quadrado now that they've bought in Alexis Sanchez? Um, Taylor Winter says, Kadira or Bender? Either one of them will be a top talent. It's just a matter of time before we see which one of these would be the better one to choose, which is very true. Um, we've seen a lot of Sami Kadira. We know what he can do, and he will be um, a very, very good signing. We all know that. Um, Brandon D says, Kadira will heat up again. Germany have just finished their World Cup. He wants to take some time off. Him and Ozil are unbelievably close. So I would say it's highly likely that does make the deal, you know, that does give the deal a good chance, the fact that him and Ozil get on well. Listen, if I had a mate and he plays for, um, you know, a certain club, I'm sure that we'd be talking to each other about that club. By the way, you know, I heard something yesterday. I was being told by um, um, somebody that um, um, Cesc Fabregas had a lot to do with Alexis Sanchez deciding to come to Arsenal, he actually said to Alexis Sanchez, listen, if you're going to go to England, don't go to Liverpool, go to Arsenal. It's a much, much, much better club. So uh, props to Cesc Fabregas if that's actually true. But that's what I was hearing yesterday. Um, Guna779 says, Robbie, we don't need a midfielder like Kadira. He's skillful and has a lot of good offensive traits. But Ramsey does that. We need a strong defensive tackler. Listen, Kadira is a strong defensive tackler as well. He does, he's, he's sort of different. He doesn't just sit there and that's it. He, he, he wants to get involved. He wants to get forward a bit. But he can definitely do a job in that area. A um, couple more I'm going to do here. Um, the Gunner Vlog says, Fabian Shah would be a brilliant centre-back to sign. That, that's a good shout, that. And... Um, Jason Peacock says, um, hey, Robbie, are we still in for Benzema? I haven't heard um, that Arsenal are in for Benzema. I haven't even heard that Real Madrid are willing to sell Benzema. Um, again, he'd be a great shout if we was able to get a player of his calibre, but I haven't seen where Arsenal are looking to get Benzema. Talking of strikers, I'll tell you what, the best person, the best shout for a striker, I'm going to go through the comments. I want you to, just like yesterday you suggested centre ask me, Suggest to me a striker. You can win yourself this T-shirt, all right? I'm going to go through them. 
Win yourself this T-shirt. <laughs> you like that one? Alexis is a gooner, not a scouser. This T-shirt uh, that we just got come out, I'll tell you, I love it, that T-shirt. I was rocking that yesterday. Um, you can win yourself one of those T-shirts. Let me know a striker. Maybe one out there that's not an obvious striker that you think Arsenal can go out there and sign that will make us a better team. Give me your suggestions in the comments. I'll go through them. I'll announce it tomorrow. The best one, you win yourself this. Alexis is a gooner, not a scouser. Um, thanks for watching Transfer Daily today. Um, good luck to Ian Poulter, um, gooner, who's um, playing in the Open today. Don't forget to check out the video we've got currently running on um, the, our YouTube page with Ian Poulter and his send-off from Arsenal fans. He's a massive gooner. Good luck to him in the Open. And thanks for watching the show today. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time.